Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have a very cool update coming over to Substance Painter. So the folks at Adobe has updated this brand new tool that they've just gonna head to rebrand and this now comes with a couple of things. Now from the UI all the way to performance, there's a massive update coming over to Substance Painter right now. And for those who would like to get this, I'm gonna put a link in the description. I'll bring you right over here where you can read up on the blog and also where you can check out Substance Painter just in case you would like to purchase and own this. You can actually do that on Steam right now so with that said some of the massive updates that is now available with substance painter includes the ui now once you open up substance painter one of the biggest changes that you would notice is the ui panel is now leaned towards the left contrary to being on the base which is something that we've already gotten used to and that used to be known as shelves but right now they've gone through to make it more like dimension style where you get to work with these things based on a particular asset type that you would like to work with so in this case you can choose to select any particular asset type that you would like to work with and if you like to select multiple asset types or you know you like to select multiple panels or multiple stuff that you like to work with you can now hold on control on your keyboard and click and that way you'll be able to hold these things and select them other cool thing that they've also added is breadcrumb so breadcrumbs is also something that is pretty cool now the brand new breadcrumb system is available at the top of the asset panel and uh, if you would like to select multiple assets you can now simply navigate through your asset library by breadcrumbs now at this point depending on what you would like to select or based off the kind of things you would like to filter you can now get these things happening. Now, this change simply makes navigation around the asset browser or simply around the asset library a little more easier and actually a bit more optimized for those who like to search for things by filter. Now, with that said, there is also a very cool update to thumbnail generation, which is more of a performance update. So contrary to what we have before, you can now notice that the loading time for your thumbnails are way faster and despite that, the thumbnails now look pretty cool. And in terms of performance, there is also a very cool update to the performance. So unlike what we used to have before, where you kind of paint across several layers, and depending on what you're working on and depending on the density of what you're working on, it might take a couple of minutes for a stroke to simply appear or register right now this actually happens way way faster and a beautiful update alongside with this deals with the height to normal update now for those who like to take a look at the height to normal update there's a brand new method for converting your height maps or your height information to normal details and the new conversion method or the new method which they've now implemented is called sharp so if you would like to test this one out i'm going to put a link which can bring you here and you can see this is what you get once it's sharp and of course this is what you get once you're working with uh, something previous which actually gives it a smoother look so you can come through and see how this one works and maybe test it out and see and meanwhile you might also want to take a look at this brand new awesome update right here so we've also talked about auto unwrapping auto unwrapping is one of those cool things that we got to see in older versions of substance and right now you can now auto unwrap on Udems. So depending on what you would like to work with. Now, if you also feeling excited about auto unwrapping on different UV islands, and actually, if you want to do some very cool stuff with this, you can now do these things right out of the bat. So Substance is giving you that opportunity for you to now easily unwrap things automatically, and you can select the number of tiles that you like, and you can have these things automatically unwrap and displayed right there within your viewport and this update isn't going to be complete without something that is pretty nice that they've also added to substance as a whole so right now the folks at adobe have now added a brand new support for the new adobe substance material so the adobe standard material is going to be the brand new standard material that you can now work with with substance as this is a pbr material specification that introduces a brand new set of material behaviors and some of the material behaviors that we're looking at is improved subsurface scattering, sheen, clear coating, anisotrophy, and also specular edge color. Now, this one is uh, something that I think a lot of people may want to take a look at, kind of consider this, and uh, I don't know how this is gonna fit into the kind of tools that you've been working with before, but for sure, with the brand new introduction of this new material behavior, I guess this is definitely going to be something that lots of people would want to try. So we, what we said the last time where we talked about Adobe, you know, rebranding the whole Substance suit and the whole tools that you can work with with Substance, right now, there is also that stuff about the ecosystem. So the ecosystem thing seems to be in progress. Now, within the blog, you would notice there's a section called 
bring your apps together and that is exactly what they're doing at this point so you can now easily send things from substance designer over to substance painter and apply it to your material now i think that's a very cool ecosystem something else which you can now do as well is the 3d sampler which we also talked about which is a rebranded alchemist can also be used to create materials and those materials can now be thrown right over to substance painter now you can also choose to create things like hdrs and also send them over to substance painter and for the most part like we talked about the last time that the stager is actually dimensioned with a brand new coat and uh, it looks very cool that you can now easily send your stuff the way you just simply made them from substance over to stager now once you bring it over to stager you can now light and do all of the necessary rendering stuff that you like to do and this is very very cool alongside with all of this there is also the adobe bridge which you can now use to check out your materials and see what the materials look like find where they've been saved and at the same time for those who are excited about getting free assets you can also go over to the 3d online store where they've claimed to add over 2000 3d models for substance and of course you can go ahead and check these things out so these are the things that you can now do with substance painter and for those who would like to take a look at this i'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check out these things and like i said earlier for those who would like to also download substance you might want to get it right now substance doesn't come as it used to come substance now comes with a creative cloud uh, desktop stuff so for you to test it you may need to go ahead and search for it right now i'm installing substance 3d painter just to check out what it looks like and you might want to check it out and uh you know try it see what it looks like then you can proceed to purchase it now substance painter at this point is not something that you might want to purchase as one tool as if you also go over to the buy section let's actually go ahead and check out buy now so if you also go over to the buy section like we've talked about before this is going to launch you over to a new page where you now have to purchase these things as a collection so depending on what you would like to do you might want to go in and check out those things test it out see what and what you can do with it and you can now make some very concrete decisions for yourself and that's about it for those who like to get these on steam you can go over to steam right now and grab it but one thing to keep in mind is substance is only going to be having updates to steam till the end of 2021 so you might not be able to get future updates after 2021 but if you're into saving money and owning your tool for once you might want to consider taking that off steam and actually installing it and getting all the updates that will be coming to 2021 and that's about it for those who like to check out this probably want to read more about it or maybe you might want to check out some of the tools and some of the stuff that is currently available within the 3d substance asset store or maybe you want to read more about the models and stuff that they've added to the 3d store then link is going to be in the description so that you can do well to check these things out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace